language. Hey guys, Divi here, back again with another review for a Hot Toys figure, continuing my ultimate goal to collect all four main Avengers from Age of Ultron in Hot Toys form. Here I am to review Hot Toys Captain America 1-6 scale figure. Now, I am going to go over the packaging, but this time around it's going to be a lot quicker because going back to that traditional way of packaging their Hot Toys figures, Hot Toys decided to package Captain America in a much more simplistic manner. Back with um, with Iron Man, he had this cool box that opened in two parts, then inside there was like a, a styrofoam coffin that kept him inside, all snug and protected. This time we go back to what I was expecting Iron Man to come in, which is that bubble type of, well not bubble, but like it has a window and I'll, I'll go ahead and show you. Anyways, here we have the packaging itself. It's got a cool design mirroring the similar design that the front of Iron Man's packaging had, which is the big A right there, right here. Uh, and it's it's going for that, um, I, I don't know what the st the name of the style is called, but it's going for that style where you got letters and then within the letters you got a different color palette out that's different from the, the color palette that is surrounding the letter. They got a similar motif going on here with Captain America there. And you got the A and then in the middle you got uh, the Avengers Age of Ultron logo in silver. And then... There you go. There you got all the logos there at the at the bottom. On the side, you got the continuing pattern going on along with the Captain America symbol, which is essentially the symbol of the shield. And then on the other side, continuing the pattern with much more red and blue, you got let's say Captain America one six scale figure. And I'm kind of already spoiling the way this thing, this whole thing comes together. And then at the bottom, you got one giant A in blue, and then all of the credits for the figure in Japanese. At least I believe it's Japanese. Then at the top you got Captain America, one six scale figure. Uh, and then at the bottom, Avengers Age of Ultron logo in white. And that's really about it. Now if you couldn't already tell, this whole area here is actually one giant sleeve. You remove it and then there you, is the window that I was referring to. Which like I said, that's how most of Hot Toys figures would come packaged in, in re recent, recent memory. So you got the figure inside as well as all of its accessories here on the right, my right at least. Uh, the top and the bottom are pretty much the exact same because it's part of the, the box. And the sides are also the same only with different color, which in this case is just black. You got black, Captain America 1-6 scale figure. Uh, in the back you just got this little design here with Captain America 1-6 scale figure there on the side as well as the little pattern there of the shield. And then you got the credits for the creators of the figure, this time in English. And then the other side the symbol, the Captain America symbol, which is also, again, his shield, only this time it has that black and white type of motif that they had going on in Winter Soldier, which I thought was kind of neat. And that's re really about it. There's nothing all that special about the packaging this time around, which is a little bit of a bummer, but it, it is what it is. So let's go ahead and unbox this guy real, real, real quick, uh, which is fairly easy, similar to other figures in general, not just Hot Toys, but figures period. You got this flap here at the top which you open up and it's kind of tight which is a bummer because in order to kind of get the flap out you need to bend this part right here so no, I hate messing with packaging to some really good figures especially when the packaging is in pristine condition. And then simply you reach inside take out the tray which is similar to that styrofoam tray that Iron Man came in but this time it's just plastic. So there you go, you remove it, I'm going to go ahead and move that to the side, and there we have Captain America encased in his little plastic coffin going on right there. So all you got to do is just remove the translucent tray at the top, so move it to the side, and then you got all your accessories there. And I'm going to go ahead and set them uh, amongst the table. Now if you notice, there's this little thing right here, this is actually for the display stand. Uh, obviously, similar to Iron Man, I went ahead and opened this guy already and messed with the figure to know what I'm going to talk about in the review and repackaged him, which is one of the beauties of Hot Toys, being able to repackage a figure without really having to go through the twisty ties again or that kind of thing. It's very, very convenient to be able to pack these guys away in case you're making a move or you want to set them to the side so you can display other figures on your shelf, that kind of thing, and that's awesome. Uh, however, for some strange reason, I forgot how this thing came packaged in, the little uh, uh, piece of, of metal here, wired metal that is used to 
hold him up with this display stand, so I just set it to the side. Anyways, useless information. I'm gonna set, to, to, set that to the side, and I'm gonna go ahead and lay out him as well as all of his accessories amongst the table. Give me a quick second, thanks to the magic of editing, and I'll see you guys with all the stuff laid out before me so I can get ready for the review. Alright, so here we have Captain America, aka Steve Rogers, as well as all of his accessories, which aren't that many. And that's one of the things that I was kind of bummed with Captain America when he was first announced by Hot Toys, is that this is what he was going to come with. And even though I appreciated it, I kind of, there was a slight part of me that wishes he would have came with more stuff. But at the same time, within the context of the movie and his role in that movie, it kind of makes sense just a little bit why he only comes with this amount of stuff and not other things because they weren't important to the story. Because, I mean, Captain America, if you really think about it, Captain America didn't do all that much in terms of being a pivotal point in the story. I mean, sure, he was a very substantial character in that movie, but he was he was more involved with the story, but he didn't play a humongous part. Not not as big of a, as a part as maybe the Hulk or Black Widow or um, Hawkeye, and certainly not as uh, like uh, Tony Stark, at least not for now, because we do have that particular movie coming out next year. But anyways, it makes sense for him to only have this amount of accessories. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk about the core figure himself. Here he is, and he looks pretty good. The, the, one of the things that turned me on to wanting to buy this figure is because of the the costume itself. Uh, I know Hot Toys goes all out uh, all out with the detail on their figures, and whereas Iron Man was a little easy to do because of the sculpting, because he's got a robotic suit, so they were able to cheat with certain details, mainly the articulation. It's a little bit tougher, I imagine, to create an actual uniform for these figures when they come when the character on screen comes with an actual clothed uniform like Captain America. And I feel like they did their best job to try to replicate what in my opinion is my favorite live action costume for Captain America because it blends uh, very perfectly that old school style from the 1940s in that first Captain America movie and then the new one they had in the Avengers which I didn't really like so much. I, there, were, there were certain things about it that I did like but overall it did look like a Halloween costume. I love that this suit however blended both of those styles together and that's one of the reasons why I, w I was very much looking forward to owning this figure. Now, how did they interpret that onto the figure itself is somewhat of a mixed bag. Again, the design itself I really like. However, when it came to actually fitting the costume onto this figure is where I feel a little divisive. The top feels just fine at first glance. I mean, the proportions uh, are all there and the detail is very meticulous and awesome. I like the little uh, A there on his shoulder as well as just the overall design and the way everything comes together here on the chest with the star symbol, uh, the padding here for his abdominal area, and then over here in the back you even got this little strap right here where he would usually hold his his um, shield, and just overall, uh, you know, the pockets, this, the, the, sh the shoulder, the lining, everything is just awesome, especially the utility belt that he's got going on right here, all the pockets here on the side, it's very uh, extravagant, you even got the, the elbow pads right there, and it just looks great. But then when we get to this portion of the figures where things start to kind of, uh, I don't want to say fall apart, but it just doesn't feel like the same figure. The pants just feel a little too loose to where the knee pad kind of starts going off in different directions and it makes it look like his legs are kind of crippled. And it's a little wrinkly here in the, um, here in the shin area to where the pants actually start to lift uh, uh, out of the boot and just makes it look like he has a bad fitting. It feels like two different teams worked on the costume. There's just something about the legs that just doesn't work and I'm pretty sure it's not the actual uh, the actual mold of the figure inside in, uh, as much as it is the actual costume. I appreciate how well they tried to recreate the design of Captain America here in the pants, especially with the pockets and the lining again capturing the red, blue, and any white that's necessary, but mainly just trying to re uh, reimagine the suit once more. But in terms of the fitting, I felt like they got it mixed up a little bit because the pants are a little too loose, and when it comes to the articulation, which I'm about to talk about, the top is a little too tight in certain instances. And this might not be the first Hot Toys figure to come across this problem. I'm pretty sure 
Uh, this is pretty much a staple for, for Hot Toys at this point to have uh, realistic uniforms and realistic details. But of course there has to be some form of sacrifice. But when you really think about it, in real life, even if we were to take a human being like Chris Evans and put him in this costume, they should be able to move around freely and fit uh, and feel very comfortable within their suit. I remember reading a story about how the original custom designer for that first, I think it was either the first Captain America or maybe this one, this uh, new Avengers movie, where she designed the suit and Chris Evans was so comfortable in it that he went ahead and ate lunch in it. <laughs> he was just like, screw it, I want to wear this thing all around like, a, like uh, we do with our pajamas. Um, I feel like the fitting here was swapped. The pants are just a little too loose to where it makes his 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 legs look just a little weird, and it may or may not be coming well uh, coming across well on camera, but it does in person. And then when it comes to the top, uh, look wise, it looks amazing both on camera and off. But the articulation can become a little limited, which I'll talk about right now. The head can rotate 360 degrees as well as tilt uh, very far, uh, you know, very low, very far down, but then not so much up. You kind of have to make body adjustments to make him look all the way up. Uh, and then you got his shoulder movements, which are, like I said, restricted. He can only rotate his arm about that much forward and then that much back and then that much outward. And that's really about it. But again, I'm telling you, Chris Evans, I'm pretty sure he can rotate his arm all around and this costume doesn't necessarily allow that for the figure then he has I believe two points at the elbow but again it starts to feel a little tight right there I, I and this really bugs me because there was a point where I wanted to put him in this pose where he's like holding the shield up like he does in some of the posters it's like this up on against his face and I can't do that because it's just way too tight here they tried to to capture the the costume a little bit too well that it kind of limit limited the articulation just a tad bit and then his hands can only rotate at the joint at the forearm joint that he's got going on right here that allows for his arms uh, for his uh, hands to be interchangeable uh, interchangeable sorry uh, in terms of torso articulation it's there but again because of the costume it's very very limited he can rotate left and right about that far as well as inwards and outwards about yay like that maybe about that much forwards again I don't want to you know, mess with it too much because I'm afraid of ripping the cloth because it, if this area here looks awesome and in certain instances I'm able to make the pants look good as well but I mean if you take a look at his ass <laughs> let's go ahead and take a look at Captain America's ass um, his pants start to look a little saggy and that's where again the fitting of the costume just didn't necessarily work in this case I don't know but anyways his legs can move forwards about that far and then backwards about yay and then outwards to the side actually a little bit more than I was expecting but about that far like that um, knee joints are actually pretty flexible he can bend at the knee about that far right there and then he's got your traditional ankle pivot that allows his his feet to move about that far forward and then that far back as well as inwards and outwards for posability but again Every time I fidget with that, the cloth just becomes, you know, undone, and it just makes his, his, uh, his legs and or and uh, his feet look just really weird, and I still have yet to understand why. But anyways, that's Captain America again uh, on camera through the photos or whatever. Looks awesome, but after you fidget with him a little bit, uh, the the fitting of the costume itself kind of becomes somewhat of a problem. So anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the accessories which are still very much appreciated even though I kind of wish he had more let's go ahead and go on with the uh, with the interchangeable uh, hands AK or slash forearms because he, he's able to exchange hands at the forearm they're not actual hands they're like gauntlets so to speak he comes with eight pair no eight pairs four pairs of hands so a total of eight hands and most of them look the same to one another you got these hands right here that kind of make it look like he's kind of holding on to something. These, uh, these, these are what I like to call the belt buckle hands, where you usually put uh, put these on him so that he can pose holding his belt buckle like Captain America would sometimes do in the movies. And then you got these. Oh, I can't talk about those just yet. But anyways, you got the fist hands. There's one of them right there, and then the other one is actually on his left arm right there. But he's got the fist, the clenched fists. Uh, and then you got these right here, which are similar 
to the first ones that I showed off and then you got the other one over here. The difference however is that all these other hands have this little black piece here at the top. And if you can see it, black piece right there at the top. These don't and the reason for that is because these hands actually have magnets within them so that he's able to hold his almighty shield, his vibra vibranium shield. So that's the reason why uh, those hands are just a tad bit different than the other ones. And then you got this last pair which are a little unorthodox you got one open palm hand so that he's able to hold the spare helmet that he comes with, I'm assuming at least. And then you got this hand which looks like he's holding a little something a little bit thinner. And my assumption is that this hand is so that he's able to hold the shield and pose with it like he does in that first Captain America First Avenger uh, teaser poster where he's holding the, 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 the shield like this and he's like staring down at it, brooding as superheroes always tend to do. And then over here you got, like I mentioned, a spare helmet that unfortunately cannot be wearable. It's mainly just for show, so that he's able to hold, like he just got out of battle, that kind of thing. But the detail on it is just the same as the one on his face, which is pretty good. And then you got a second head, which I guess I'll use this opportunity to show off as a comparison for heads. Uh, same thing as Hot Toys has always done, they go for that uncanny valley type of molding. Uh, when it comes to his head for, that has the helmet on it, which is his default Captain America head, it looks good, um, but it does remind me, it, it doesn't look cheap, it doesn't. But I'm just saying, because he's having, he has the helmet on, there's no, you know, th there's no way to say, oh, it looks like uh, Chris Evans, oh my god, it's so realistic. So obviously, it, the, the main attraction to this helmet is that it goes with the costume, it goes with whatever pose you put him in, and the detail on his helmet looks pretty good as you can see right there, especially when shadows are casted upon them by the light. It's pretty awesome. Then you got the second head, which is the unhelmeted Steve Rogers uh, head that is supposed to bear resemblance to Chris Evans. And it, it, it kind of does, you know, it looks pretty good. My only bummer with this head, however, that I don't think you're going to be able to see on camera. I really don't think so. I'm not even going to bother that much. But anyways, this head has eyes that are molded in a way to where it looks like he's looking off into the into the sky, like he's looking off at a corner, like this way. Not a huge fan of that. I kind of wish he was staring straight forward so that it would make se better sense for certain poses. Instead, he his eyes are painted on so that it looks like he's staring off that in that direction. It's kind of meant to look like he he does in some of the some of the promotional stills for like Winter Soldier or Age of Ultron, to where he's like looking in some direction while his helm his uh, shield is resting here at the bottom, like he's in rest mode, like hey, I'm off duty, that kind of thing. Uh, but still, I kind of wish they went with the default staring forward so that you can pose him with other figures and the eyes would make sense. That way he's not just staring into nothingness. But that's just me. And then, of course, my favorite accessory is his shield, which is actually made out of die-cast metal, and it looks awesome. I mean, the way it's plated, the way it's painted, and over here in the bag you got actual... Uh, He'll, uh, actual, you know, the, these things right here, these that he uses to hold the shield that can actually open up and you can put his hand in there. I don't really bother with that because I just feel like it's too much, but I think it's really cool. So anyways, let's go ahead and clasp, clasp, clasp these together, sorry. And I'm going to go ahead and put it on his hand that has the magnet. Now here's the thing. On both of his arms, he's got these pads right here that have uh, magnets in them already. These black pads close to his elbow, on his, his on his forearm, I don't know if you can see it, right there. And then over here you got that second magnet within that mod modified hand. So you just take one of, the, uh, one of the magnets here at the top, stick it, oh, and it automatically kind of grabs onto his arm anyway. But anyways, one magnet is on his forearm and the other one is on his hand that has the magnet within it. And then there you go. It looks badass. The only other little issue that I can Sit, I can kind of report on is that his hands are a little tough to exchange. I'm not going to do it for time's sake, but man, they're really tough to to interchange because sometimes you can't tell if you peg them in correctly, and sometimes the the pegs within the wrist come off, and you have to I I have to use my teeth to get them out because they're really really tough, and there's not much clearance to be able to take them out of the out of the arm. But it is a little bit of a of a hassle, especially dealing with the cloth within the uh, within the uh, arm right here to fit it back in and not make it look so wrinkly could be a, a trust, troublesome issue. And lastly, of course, any Hot Toys figure is not complete without the inclusion of a display stand or base. 
This time around, unlike uh, Iron Man who got a rather extravagant looking base, Captain America simply comes with this right here, which has the A symbol with a color template reminiscent of his character. You got the you actually have the shield behind the A right there. You got this pattern going on right here, the cybernetic looking pattern and in the shape of a I don't know what kind of shape that is, but anyways, you got the base right here, and of course you got the silver plate that says Captain America, Avengers Age of Ultron, and he also comes with this little um, this little pole right here. Unlike uh, Iron Man who had a pole and then at the top he had a little like a clamp to hold the figure in place, this time because Captain, Amer Captain America is a much more traditional Hot Toys figure, he comes with a much more traditional uh, stand here that comes with the little two hooks that are meant to hold them by the crotch, which I feel is more uh, suited for a torture device than for a collector's uh, figure. I feel like being that this is Captain America, this may give kids the wrong idea. Anyways, let's go ahead and take this little uh, stand here and slide it off. Slide it off. Okay, ooh, it's coming off. Okay, uh, let's set it back down. And simply just rise, okay, I'm just going to press down, there you go, I'm going to press down so that he is situated correctly and is, still has his feet firmly on the ground, uh, literally, not just a metaphor. Uh, and that is about it. And there we have Captain America on his base, uh, ready to stand tall and proud for the land of the free. Oh, God, okay, <laughs> there you go. Anyways. There we have Captain America, uh, a, a, a good figure, don't get me wrong, it's a good figure, uh, still has some things about uh, about him that I thoroughly do like, like the shield, um, uh, this whole top half of the figure I think looks outstanding, a little bit uh, limited with the possibility, but still I like how well they were able to bring about the actual design of the costume, my favorite design of the Captain America costume to figure form. I just personally feel that they spent just a little too much time with Iron Man when it came to not just the figure and the accessories but even the damn box that I feel like they may have half-assed, at least by Hot Toy standards, uh, may have half-assed uh, Captain America here just a tiny bit because like I said the feeling that the feeling the fitting of the costume itself feels just a little off I feel like he could have came with a few more accessories and on top of that he gets a way smaller uh, display stand here as well as packaging that isn't bad you know none of these things are bad necessarily I just, I just feel like Hot Toys could have done more instead I feel like their focus was set too much on Iron Man as well as the other figures for new characters from the movie rather than Captain America here and that somewhat makes me a little just a tiny bit nervous for Thor, Thor and Hulk who are coming out later on in the year. For now Captain America is still a, a very well made figure that I appreciate and would love to pose with Iron Man if I, I'm going to do that right now but before I do I'm going to go ahead and give him my rating. I say that Captain America here is definitely worth of being in your collection, especially if you're doing what I'm doing, collecting all four main Avengers from the Hot Toys Age of Ultron line. But if you don't feel the need to complete your set and you already own a Captain America, whether it be from the first movie or the first, or the Winter Soldier, then it's really ultimately up to you. I'm not going to say you can skip it, but it's up to you to decide. I definitely recommend the figure, but you do need to know uh, ahead of time of the slight complaints that I that I had with this figure that I'll admit I, I had more issues with than I did with Iron Man. So for that I give Captain America from Age of Ultron and Hot Toys here a high 8 out of 10. Iron Man is still my favorite out of the two but it's nice having to own Captain America along with him. So before I wrap up give me a quick second I'll be right back. Alright War is coming. Wait, let me get it right here. Oh, 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 who's gonna win? Who will come out on top? Even though, because of Marvel's cinematic plan, we kind of have an idea that none of these guys are actually gonna die. But, anyways, 
Let me know what you guys thought of my review for Hot Toys Captain America from Avengers Age of Ultron. And please let me know in the comments, who do you pick? Iron Man or Captain America? Uh, Tony Stark or Steve Rogers? Choose wisely. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.